Xin chào. What's up, everybody? All right. We're on Huyen uh, Way. We're going to be walking home now. We are going to do a TRT and weight update. Have I gotten fatter? Have I not done anything? Or have I lost some weight? Let's talk. Let's get into it. Oh, we got Snake Man out here. The snake girl. Alright, anyways. Oh no, speaker. Why do you plague me, speaker? Uh, it's like cutting out. He's, the batteries are low. Man, okay, I'm ready. Let's get some and some make it body. Anybody hands up the air? Hands up the air. Alright, so we're past the 17 walls of speakers. So let's get into the update. Have I lost some weight? What's going on? I have some good news. I'm at about 105 kgs as of today. I think we're at 100 and 112 something when we first started like a month ago, three weeks ago. What's well, going pretty good. I'm getting to close to the first goal, which is 100 kgs. And then, like I said, after 100 kgs, we're going to try to hit 90 kgs and then pretty much maintain 90 kgs. That's my happy way. And then if we can work on that, sure. But I'm good at 90 kgs. And I don't know, with, as much as I go to the gym, I don't know how I would be able to... I mean, it's possible. Well, we'll see. I just want to get one goal at a time, you know? I think setting some huge number and then putting a lot of stress on yourself for that number is not a, a really good way to go. So we'll talk more about that. The next bit I want to talk about... Well, music over here, too. There's music's everywhere! Vietnam, the land of loud music. The next thing I want to talk about is TRT. I've been getting a lot of questions about TRT. I've been getting a lot of guys that are in like Thailand or here that can get access to it and are like, well, I'm just going to take it. I, I do not recommend this. I'm not a doctor, but do not just take TRT because you think your TRT is low. Absolutely a terrible idea. You should be getting tested like I get tested. Pretty much every two months I get tested now to see where the levels are at and to see where if we need to adjust how much you're taking. And I'm taking TRT replacement. I'm not taking TRT to get jacked or to as a steroid essentially. I did not need to take a estrogen blocker because my estrogen levels are very good. I just needed more TRT in my system. So the dose I take now is uh, one, one ml. I do believe yeah, it's, it's the one ml. So I get a three ml needle with the longer needle because you want the longer one if you're going. I stick it in my buttocks, which I recommend most people do. That's what most doctors recommend. Or if you go and have a doctor give you your weekly shot, which people do do in like California and stuff, they will usually put it in your buttocks. And, and that's what I do. I have a good area. I massage it for a minute. I take it every Sunday. For me, there is a noticeable difference. I've heard many people say that there's no difference for them. I absolutely feel a difference um, in all areas from where when, when testosterone drops that you have very problems in areas. I've noticed increased performance everywhere, you know. Of course, the biggest increased performance I have noticed is definitely at the gym, you know, and being consistently going to the gym. Like, uh, you're not gonna see gym changes uh, by going to the gym only for like three months or six months and, or even nine months you're gonna see changes really advanced changes in your body especially if you're a bigger dude it's gonna take you a year and then you've got to drop some body fat too so like that's what I'm in the process of doing is getting the body fat off and then you'll start to notice like I can noticeably see a difference if I look at myself in my shoulders my arms are bigger my chest is definitely more like solid and stuff <laughs> crazy dude I can notice the changes the little changes definitely my back physique is bigger um, you know I pretty much just follow the Arnold Schwarzenegger workout uh, I pretty much just follow what he does you know I've read the book of Arnold the Arnold encyclopedia 
I just go by what Arnold did. I think Arnold's had had the best physique ever, still did in his prime. So I'm again not trying to be a bodybuilder. That is not the goal. But I will consistently lift weights five days at least every week. Usually the process is Monday through Friday right now. And then take Saturday and Sunday off for the weights. Still getting in my 15,000 steps a day, even some days 20,000 steps. So the steps have been going very well. I think pretty much being consistent with my steps seven days a week has what's really equaled the weight loss and then changing my diet out for, you know, no more pizzas and cheeseburgers and, and shit like this. Now, if I want a cheeseburger during the week, will I get one? Yes. Have I been doing that? No. I've been pretty happy with, uh, you know, chicken breasts that are seasoned well with like a Texas rub style seasoning, like pretty much salt and pepper, paprika type deal. That's been pretty, pretty good. And then, like I said, I'll make a, I'll do a cabbage. I'll cut up a half a cabbage and then I'll do some onion, some garlic in, in with that half a cabbage. And then I'll do beef with that. So my meal would look something like this. And I have been doing one meal a day consistently and accurately again. And my one meal a day has pretty much been consisting of two or three chicken breasts and then half the plate serving of the cabbage and beef. And then maybe the next day I want hot pot. So I'll make a hot pot at home just with some basic simple seasonings, nothing like crazy. And I'll have, you know, two or three hundred grams of pork and beef. Some fatty beef, some lean beef. Uh, the pork I really am liking right now for hot pot is the neck, the sliced neck. It actually is a really good flavor for the pork. So I might have that one day as my meal. And then again, cabbage will go into the hot pot and I'll quickly braise the cabbage and then eat that as well. I definitely get in a veg for that fiber with every meal as well. So by just focusing on being healthy and not really going off the rails and like, if I walk by McDonald's, go like, fuck it, I'm just gonna get a, a cheeseburger. Fuck it, I'm just gonna get a cheeseburger. I, I, I don't do that, um, you know. It's more about self-control. And then absolutely cutting myself off at food at 6 p.m. There's no food that goes into my body after 6 p.m. now. It just, I, I won't do it. So this is how you have to be when you wanna really meet these goals. You have to, for me anyways, you have to set that bar and then you have to bring yourself to accountability and then get into that routine of doing it and then stay in that routine. And that seems to work really well. Me and Wynn, if we go to work, we eat pretty much right as she gets out of work, so 5.30 to 6. So I'm able to eat within that window. As you saw in the video the other day, we had the gangs. I mainly just had a beef salad. I had some steak and I had a few little potatoes, which isn't gonna kill you. You know and then i had some like arugula and some rocket salad as well with just like a little vinaigrette dressing over it so just trying to eat stuff that is pretty much natural and healthy and kind of full of protein is kind of the way i'm going but i'm not being a psychopath about like the protein you know i'm not just eating uh three chicken breasts every day or four chicken breasts a cup of a cup of white rice and a cup of broccoli like every day not the same thing every single day and that seems to work really well for me and it feeds my hunger and i don't get hungry again so it's all working out for me very well what did i eat today shit i can't remember what I ate today. sometimes i do have a cup of rice though if i have rice i just have like a cup uh there's a korean company that makes a pre-packaged kimchi rice with beans and carrots and other veg in it that I do like. I will occasionally eat with a meal. I don't rule out all carbs, but I definitely try to stay under 50, 60 grams of carbs a day. Of course, you know on the live streams, we do drink some beer on Friday and Saturday. So that does throw things off a little bit, but it hasn't been anything crazy because I'm not repeating that behavior when I go back home. So I'm not doing that seven days a week. I'm only doing that two days a week. And we're going to try to just switch to straight just like uh, vodka soda because most places have that now. Even though it's going to cost a little bit more money and then I can drink Hello. less. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm married. Come on.
<laughs> Trying to hook me up with their friend. She's looking at him all like, what the hell? Don't do that. That was funny. They think I'm new here. Because there's so many vloggers that are coming here. It's okay. Usually I would say Bonham just pretty much three years. And then they would know. But they were having fun, so I let them run with it. My Vietnamese is agreeably still terrible. Sorry. Don't know what to tell you. I don't put any effort into it. So, it's not like I don't acknowledge that. I like it when somebody's like, you've lived there three and a half years and you haven't learned any Vietnamese. Nope, I haven't. <laughs> so, I, mean, I don't know what you want the validation there for, but there you go, you can have it. I know enough to get around. I'm happy with that. Maybe in the future, I'll decide to put some time into it. So like uh, other things with the uh, TRT is, yeah, you just can't, I had one guy asking me, can I just go on TRT and pretty much just keep walking around like I am? And I'm like, no, dude, you can't just walk around and not go to the gym. You have to go to the gym and lift weights. And you have to do it five days a week. Especially if you're a dude that's already overweight and you're older, you are gonna get fat as shit if you start taking TRT. You're just gonna get fatter. Because what's gonna happen is your metabolism is gonna just go bonkers. And that's the first real big adjustment period to when you start taking TRT, at least for me it was is I had a young metabolism again, and my body wanted calories all the time. Especially after the gym, before the gym, you know, your body's just gonna be more in a hungry mode. And then if you don't tune your diet very well, you're gonna get fat, man. That's how I put on that weight. On top of it being tat and me just eating whatever I kinda wanted and eating a bunch of food, my metabolism was super high. And you can't like mess around. And you can't mess around with that stuff on TRT. You're just going to put on weight really, really quick. And your face will get fat very quickly too. There's other things I noticed. So you've got to be really mindful of this stuff when you start TRT. Now, if you're a skinny guy, I don't know. All I can speak about is fat guys because I'm a fat guy. So, I mean, that's all I really got for you. I'm the, the fat versus skinny guy. I think if you're a skinny dude, you should be able to do it. TRT replacement without needing to um without needing to to lift weights but i really wouldn't recommend it if you're going to go ahead and, and put the effort in to inject yourself weekly with testosterone why not go to the gym you know and it's good to go to the gym i am not a specimen of human health i don't claim to be i am still a very long way ago before i'm actually in any kind of good shape and i don't consider myself in good shape now but i certainly do try i certainly do put the effort forward every day to try to do something, you know? At least go to the gym, go do a run. I added the pool back in recently, so we've been going to the pool. So that's been going pretty good. So I mean, that's really, that's really it for the update. This isn't a very long video. This is just like concise and to the information. Um, like I said, get tested. Uh, your buddy isn't the source of knowledge for this stuff. A doctor is. I mean, that's all I've really got to say. Sure, it might be easy to get it in some Southeast Asia countries just because it is. Doesn't mean you should just go grab some and start injecting like two mLs a, a week, you know. This is all stuff that should be checked with science. And again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a health expert. I'm not a guy in shape. I am fat. So I'm just giving you my experience on my journey with losing weight and TRT. And as we know, I've already been skinny before, so I know how to lose weight. And I was able to maintain it for a long time. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay frosty. Drop a comment. If you're on TRT, let me know what you're doing and how your progress is going in the comment section. If you've joined me on this weight loss journey, also leave a comment and if you've lost any weight since the last video. So that's it, guys. All right. Stay frosty. Thanks for watching. Peace out.